Hey folks, welcome back to Ranger Realm Studios, your hub for everything Unreal Engine 5. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our awesome content. Today we're diving back into Unreal Engine 5 and we're focusing on something incredibly vital yet often overlooked. Just how vital is it? It's incredibly vital! World Outliner and Scene Hierarchy. If you're serious about game development, understanding these elements is non-negotiable. So let's jump right in. First, let's clarify what the World Outliner is. Located on the right hand side of the screen, the World Outliner is essentially your project's table of contents. It lists every single object, character, and component that exists in your game world. If your editor looks different than mine, this is how you reset its layout. Click on Window in the top toolbar and go all the way down to Load Layout and click on UE4 Classic Layout. This will make it easier to follow along, but if you want to customize your layout because you have personal preference, don't be afraid to do so. For me, I will then go ahead and close out the content browser because I prefer to have a bigger viewport window. And as discussed in our last video, with control and spacebar you can always bring up your content browser. You can click on any element in the world outliner to select it in the viewport. So let's go ahead and start organizing things. I like to make folders for each different type of element I have in my current scene, such as all of the lighting elements, one for the post-processing volume, and anything that has to do with that. And let's make a folder for the current static meshes used in the map. Overall the world outliner is your one-stop shop for quick navigation and organization. Let's go ahead and start organizing things. As we can see, some folders have already been created, such as the lighting folder that has all of your lights and post-processing items inside of it. Personally, I like to make a separate folder for the post-processing volume, but we're going to keep it as default for now. However, let's make a folder for these blue cubes that we have in our scene. So this is the SM Chamfer Cube, Chamfer Cube 3, and Chamfer Cube 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the Chamfer Cube, go to Move to, Create New Folder, and then we're going to name this folder Blue Cubes. And then just select the other two and drag and drop them into the folder. Now our outliner looks a little bit more organized. Nice. And since we're already organizing it, let's go ahead and look through block one, what all is part of block one. So that is all of these objects, which means this must be block two and block three. All right, so we got block one, two, and three figured out. Next, let's look at the cylinder. That should be this one in the back. All right, we have a little ramp, I think. The ramp kind of belongs with the cylinder, so I'm going to go ahead and move my ramp into the cylinder folder. And then the playground, that is essentially just this little box that we have of our little game area. And you have your text render actor, which just tells you the name of the level. So if you want to go ahead and rename it, just come down here into your details panel under text, name it our first map. Enter. And that'll change it. Now this level is called our first map because it's kind of one of those various things. Let's just make create another folder, call it various, and then I'll move world data layers, world partition minimap, as well as the text render into the various folder. And now our outliner looks a lot more organized. Then go ahead and save it. And overall, the world outliner is your one stop shop for quick navigation and organization. Now let's talk about the scene hierarchy in Unreal Engine 5. The scene hierarchy is re represented directly within the world outliner. Parent and child relationships between objects can be easily visualized and manipulated here. Let's go over to block one. Creating a parent child relationship is as simple as dragging one object onto another within the world outliner. So we're going to find the biggest part of our cube, which is cube four. And then we're going to collect all of the other ones, all the other things in block one and drag them onto cube four. And now you can see how the hierarchy has changed. This is particularly useful for organizing complex scenes. For example, imagine you have a car and you want to make sure all its passengers move with it. Simply make the passengers children of the car. Now when the car drives somewhere, passengers go with it in their assigned seats. What? 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 Another example, besides a large platform like we have now, you can create entire rooms like this and only have to select one item to manipulate all of the items at once. This can save a lot of time on working with large and complex levels. So let's go ahead into block two and do it again just for some practice. We're going to pick the biggest one and we're going to collect smaller ones with it, drag it onto cube eight. Now if you select cube eight, you can move only cube eight and everything else will move along with it. Same as cube four. Go back here, select the biggest one, because all the other actors are not child actors, they will move along with the big one when we decide to move it. Lastly, a few quick tips and recap of the outliner and hierarchy. Use the world outliner to quickly find and select objects. You can do that by clicking on the name of an object and select it. Or you can use the search bar to find objects by name or type. So let's search for cube seven. 
and then it shows us cube 7 and since we made it a child of cube 4 it'll show us that it's attached to cube 4. You can use a scene hierarchy to hide or show objects or to change your order in the scene which makes it easier to overview the outliner. So if we go back up to cube 4 which selects all of the cubes underneath we can hit this eyeball which will hide everything that is present. And then if we hit the closed eye it will bring it back into visibility. You could also just select the folder and it will essentially do everything that is inside of that folder. But if you only wish to hide specific objects, you just select that object. Use the world outliner and scene hierarchy to debug your scenes. If you're having trouble with your scene, you can use the world outliner and scene hierarchy to see if there are any problems with the object hierarchy or with the properties of the objects themselves. And just like that, you've got the hang of the world outliner and scene hierarchy in Unreal Engine 5. These tools are the backbone of your project, helping you manage and navigate your evolving game world with ease. Found this tutorial helpful? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Also, drop a comment below to what other parent-child examples you can think of. Till next time, keep dreaming, keep building, and most importantly, keep playing. See you in the next video.